Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to learn about PPE, personal protective equipment. Personal protective equipment can help break the chain of infection. Masks, respirators, and eye protection, they prevent coughs, sneeze, droplets from entering your eye, nose, and mouth. Gowns or aprons keep your clothes and, and skin clean to prevent accidentally spreading germs to others. You should wear PPE when there is a potential for exposure of blood or bodily fluid from a client. If a client has a symptom or a confirmed infection, put PPE on before entering the room. Personal protective equipment only works if you put it on and take it off the correct way. This, they are, this, this is one of the skill, so you can look at it on page 421 uh, uh, using personal protective equipment. I showed on my YouTube how to put it on and how to put it off. Please go there and look at it. Usually, uh, uh, the CDC, we need to follow the CDC guidelines, how to put it on, to put it off, to spread the infection. Generally, when you, uh, today in 2023, as the, the CDC says, you need to put your gown first, and then you put your mask, and then you put your eye goggles, and then you put your gloves. And when you take it off, you take off your your gloves first, out, and then your eye goggles or eye shield, and gown, and then mask last, and then hand wash. There's two ways to take it off, and the second way is you take your gown and, and gloves uh, together, and then you take out eye goggles and mask, then you hand wash. Taking off PPE can spread germs if done incorrectly. When you take off your PPE, assume that the outside of all PPE is contaminated. Remove each piece of PPE without touching the outside surface. If your hands get contaminated while removing any piece of PPE, immediately clean your hands before continuing. Thank you very much.